Okay, you can't tell us that. If we say you can't say it without losing your teeth, you can't say it without losing your teeth. That's just that on that. channel Marisokas. Hey, if this is your first time here, I am Iloho. Yeah, that's like really my name. That's not my stage name. That's not, um, some people ask me that too. Um, it's actually pronounced Eloho in my native tongue. Uh, it's Nigerian. <laughs> I feel like most of you guys know that already, but there's always some people that have questions, you know? Oh yeah, my name means God blessed as well. So it's actually a story to it. Most African names have stories. Um, but my short, long story short, when someone sneezes, you can say, Eloho. Cool. That's not the point of this video though. Nobody. Pisces. I'm a Pisces, so like I get a little distracted, but I'm gonna get to my point, I promise. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I mean, I'm just usually in a good mood. I be feeling bad sometimes. Like people that be like miserable and depressed and stuff. I wish I could give them some good energy. So hopefully I'm sending you guys some good energy. Even when we talk about fucked up shit, I just really hope you guys are happy so in today's video we'll be talking and i'm gonna be straightening my hair i know it's a lot going on but in the process of me getting ready i just wanted to come on here and talk about this this hair is from maven hair i got my free install okay when you buy bundles with maven check on the website when you buy bundles with maven you can get your hair installed for free this is a sewing this is actually my first weave ever i know people use weave like interchangeably but weave is actually the process of sewing the hair in so this is like my, this is, yeah, this is my first weave. I've actually never had a weave. I've been wearing wigs. I like wigs. Wigs are very convenient for me. But, you know, when I need a little pull action or if I'm going on vacation, you know, I like to have something a little bit more secure. Gina Rodriguez, what's her name again? Gina Rodriguez sings the N-word. And now there's this uproar on social media. Can you sing it? Can you say it? Who should say it? How should they say it? when should they say it? who are we giving passes so this video is going to be slightly different like it's not going to be me coming on here letting y'all know you can't say it i've done that already okay i'll have those videos tagged at the end i've done that already i've talked about it i said who i think should and shouldn't i said how i feel when people who are not black say it said what i said and we all been saying the same thing so i want to bring just a different perspective and my perspective is the passes that we give Okay, now I put a post on my Instagram and a lot of people felt like I was um, defending New Yorkers. I am a New Yorker, born and raised, Brooklyn baby, home of Biggie, you feel me? A lot of people felt like I was defending New Yorkers in my post on Instagram. I'm just letting y'all know, okay? Because there's a lot of people from different parts of America, even different parts of the world, different parts of the diaspora. And they're looking at us and they're like, okay, y'all are divided as fuck. Okay, we can't get on the same page for shit. Every other community that has been oppressed has decided as a collective, okay, we ain't gonna do this and nobody else is gonna do this, okay? But there's no community like the black community, specifically the African-American community is nothing like it. Niggas is lit. I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to be saying that word. Oh, I, I say it, okay, I'm just saying. Let me, let, let me get to my point. Niggas is lit, so... You know, um, black Americans decided, you know what, we're going to take this word that y'all use to kill, steal, and destroy like the devils y'all are. And we're going to use it as a term of endearment. And you know what? Girl, nobody got the right, even though I try to not use the word as much, nobody has the right to say, you know what, you can't use it. I took the shit back. It's mine now. Okay? Okay. I feel like that's, that's a general agreement. A little hot. But that's pretty much the consensus, right? Is that it's okay for black people to say it, right? Let's just, as a whole, it's okay for black people to say it. No one else should be saying the word. I would say that would be the smartest general consensus, right? That's not how we give it up on the East Coast. And I'm using we as just like in quotes, cause I mean, I'm just saying New Yorkers. I am a New Yorker, but I don't necessarily agree with that. And I'm not saying all New Yorkers agree with that, but anybody can tell you over here on the West, sorry, over here on the East, it's pretty much black people giving other people passes. Are you down? Are you cool? Are you my bro? You know, do you seem racist? Like, we, we give the passes. New Yorkers be giving out passes like a motherfucker. I'm not saying it's okay. I'm letting y'all know how it go. So from young, like, my mom taught me against that word. Like, my mom doesn't use that word. 
but my mom taught me against that word and what the meaning of the word was and from young i'm going to school and i'm hearing everybody use the word regardless if you were black or not and it did confuse me for a long time and i guess you know after years of just years of being exposed to that it was something that i didn't see as abnormal okay it, it was something that i didn't see as abnormal because everybody did it from adults <laughs> teenagers kids all races except i would say except white people you know obviously it was very like white people just was never allowed to say it in new york but for the most part it didn't matter if you was a non-black latino it didn't matter if you were a non-black asian it didn't matter you could use the word if you were around people that allowed you to use the word so it's something that is absolutely common and normalized so when the cardi b's and the fat joes and the remy ma's like when the when the people of color from new york start saying things like listen i've said this all my life you know it was never an issue you know i'm black or i could say it because i'm from new york like when they say that it really sounds absolutely ridiculous but unfortunately it is true not saying that everybody condones it it's just like when you're when people are just so used to doing something it's like well who's gonna stop them right who's gonna stop hundreds of people hundreds of non-black people from saying it and that's really what it boils down to and then it's also like a lot of black people see you know non-black latinos as one of their own you know they see it as their why their wives their husbands their neighbors you know we're all one in the same that's how they see it but even latinos and latinas can admit that there is a certain privilege of being lighter skinned or having a different hair texture a different phenotype even if the measure of that difference varies from city to city and state to state there is a difference look at Takashi motherfucking six nine okay he was in the shit he was in the shit, but all the black men that was running with him, all the black gangbangers that was doing the same shit that he was doing, they're getting 11 years, 15 years, 100 years, child. Watch 6 9 walk, or watch 6 9 get a little... So this video is really more so a question to the black community. Who is allowed, and I want y'all to take notice of the comment section, who is allowed and who is not allowed to say the n-word? Can we all agree like can we all just come together on just one thing y'all i know it's hard i know it's hard we all different we all have different can we just come together on one thing and say only black people can use the n-word and i mean phenotypically black i don't mean oh my great 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 the great 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 great, 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 great oh, oh, I, I don't mean oh my ancestors 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 but i mean you black okay can we can we come to that conclusion can we come to that conclusion to get on the same page and say listen this word is just reserved for us or this word we should just dead it like all the other races just dead it because literally no other race is gonna allow you to sit there and call them an oppressive racial slur nobody's gonna do that there's no way you're going to the bronx in a predominantly latin community and screaming out racial slurs against them you're not doing it you're not coming out you're not coming out alive you're not coming out i've even seen some black people give white people the pass to say like you don't lost your gut you don't lost your ever loving mind well, I've seen it. I've seen black people give white people the pass. Listen, if y'all want to be out here giving your friends the pass, your non-black friends the pass, you need to be very specific and let those friends know that you can only say this around me. Because if you go outside in front of other people and say it, you might not have your teeth by the end of the night. Y'all need to start letting people know. If you want to give people the pass, which is like, why would you want to do that? But if y'all really that thirsty into, oh, it's just a word, it's just a word, let these motherfuckers know they can't say it around me don't come up to me on some oh what's up my nigga white excuse me gina rodriguez thing even with her apologies and everything she was very sarcastic it was it was purposeful gina rodriguez was doing was using the all publicity is good publicity right she wanted to bring up the whole i'm afro latina so i can say it. she wanted to <laughs> upset the black community and also bring bring forth the afro latina conversation that we've been having time and time again I would assume that an Afro-Latina is literally a black person. So somebody that could look just like me, um, a black person who 
is born in Latin America, right? Like a girl like me who's from Mexico, a girl like me who's from Ecuador, a girl like me who's from Brazil. The same way that there are dark skin black people, uh, lighter skin black people, and whiter skin black people, I think that's the same way that they see Afro Latinas, right? They see it as there are dark skin afro latinas like amara la negra there are a browner a lighter skin afro latinas like um um zoe zaldana and then there are lighter and whiter skin afro latinas like i'll just find a picture and i'll put it here because i don't oh like selena right like selena i don't know if selena identifies as afro latina or if like i, I don't know but i'm just trying to like just show y'all like a, a skin skin grade so the way I see it is like the way they see it is like listen we're we all have African roots right therefore we're all Afro Latina I think that they kind of like all they see all of themselves as Afro Latina because to an extent they all have African DNA but then we can flip that and say well there are also a lot of black Americans who have white DNA <laughs> right because of slavery and because of the mixing and the raping and the swirling as well you know but there's a lot of black americans who have white dna so can they say you feel me like can they say like well i have 20 percent white in me you know i don't look it but can i go take a um can i now get a job and say that i'm white on an application you know like the privilege doesn't the, the the issue is is that the privilege if it doesn't work in both ways it's just not fair you know if you can put one foot in and one foot out and dance between the line it's just not fair where you have unambiguous black people who can't can't say like well i have 20 percent white in me you know you can't see it but is there you know what i mean can they claim whiteness no i don't know y'all can we come to an agreement? Do you think it's possible for us to come to an agreement and say, listen, this word is only for us, nobody else. Are we allowed to give passes to the homies? Like, are we allowed to do that? We need to come to a consensus and then educate everybody else on what that consensus is. But when half people are saying, oh, the homies could say it, and then other half is saying, oh, only black Americans could say it, and then the other half is saying, well, what about black people that went through slavery in the Caribbean? It's like, uh, can we please? Jesus Christ. I think this is cute. You know, this is not a new conversation. Like, I don't want people to think like, oh, this is new. This is not a new conversation. I also want to talk about just this need. Like, me reading the tweets, I'm just like, wow. Like, people are so addict like why do y'all feel the need that y'all have to say this word i mean people were making excuses to where people people were saying oh well my ancestor white people oh my ancestors said it why can't i oh it's in a song i can say it if it's in a song oh if y'all could say it then we could say it y'all shouldn't say it. you cannot tell black people what they can or cannot do that's for us to decide okay you can't tell us that if we say you can't say it without losing your teeth, you can't say it without losing your teeth. That's just that on that. Period. Like I'm tired of these little Twitter warriors. I'm tired of I'm tired of the Twitter fingers, yo, because y'all don't be saying this in real life. Nobody says this in real life. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Do white people say that to y'all in real life? Like, why can't I say it? Boop, that's why. I gotta explain shit to you. Go read a book, bitch. Anywho, I'm sorry, I gotta look. Y'all wanna say this word so bad, but ain't nobody fighting the fight with us though. But anywho. Y'all let me know what you thought of this video down in the comment section. What do you think about this topic in regards to black people giving non-black people the pass to say it? Should we allow other people to say it if they identify as black? Yeah, y'all, I'm just ready for these comments, honey. Shout out to the first 100 people in the comment section. You know, all 100 of y'all's first every time, and I appreciate that. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you at the next one. Bye.